Good morning YouTubes. Car bike here again. And it's a lovely cold morning. It's the Sunday after Christmas. I hope you all had a great Christmas. You all got what you wanted. As my mum used to say. And uh, it's uh, about three degrees so it's not quite polar bear challenge weather but it's uh, it's cold enough to make me feel like my fingers are uh, set in blocks of ice I've just been out to see the man at Toyota again as I tried the other day to take the car or not take the car in but go and see him about the problems with my car the gearbox issues uh, when I went in last time it was Christmas Eve I thought maybe I was pushing my luck a bit and it turned out I was because the garage was closed and uh, but I knew they were open today so I thought I'd go in and uh, see what's what and they were open and the service was open but unfortunately the chap who's actually dealing with the problem isn't in he's on holiday and obviously they haven't got the best communication in the world because nobody else knew what I was talking about so they knew that there was a problem but they don't have any details at all which is a bit frustrating but um, anyway while I was there the place where the Toyota garage is it's a bit of an area for car garages so I started having a, a look around see what else was around and I've uh, nice triumph I've been looking at, um, at Dacia's of all things Dacia's as Top Gear would say it's strange how having a bike just for these last few months has completely changed my perspective on cars I used to be a car nut and um, you know, I like little sports cars and I've had a couple of convertibles and things like that and I've always been car mad but now I just can't, I couldn't really care less I suppose it's I mean having a bike is one thing obviously much more exciting it's easier to thread through traffic and traffic stops being a problem and uh, I guess it doesn't matter whether you're in a a Mini or a Ferrari if you're in traffic you're having exactly the same amount of fun I would imagine and that coupled with the problems I've had with my car for the year that I've had it have now got me to the point of thinking well just buy a runabout unfortunately I know I'm going to lose a lot of money if I do trade mine in but then again you know that money's gone anyway and it's going to carry on depreciating so I don't know I'm, I, maybe I'm just justifying it in my own head but I'm kind of getting to that point of thinking just buy a run around just buy a, a little uh, cheap is not the right word but inexpensive car get better practicality than I've got from my little car at the minute and something that people can get in the back of because that's not only possible in mine and also something that you don't mind leaving in the street because I've got a little driveway that I can leave a car on but I actually keep my car in the garage at the minute I'm told that the model I've got is a bit of a, a bit of a, an attractive car for car thieves and apparently there's quite a lot of stealing to order going on whereas if I went and bought something like a, a Dacia Sandero or a Kia Rio or a Hyundai i20 something like that I think I'd feel a lot more confident about leaving it on the drive and then I can actually put my garage to some use other than having the car in it and the bike of course so it'd make, make it much easier to put the bike away rather than uh, fiddling about with the various dollies and stands and what have you although the dolly is uh, very good if you haven't seen the two dollies both of them are good, the red one's particularly good. Have a look at the 
the videos that I did about them and you'll see them great for moving your bike around and putting it in places where it would be difficult to park it normally but yeah you know the other thing is I could uh, get myself a nice toolbox and a bench in the garage and uh, be able to do a bit of service in work and maintenance work on my bike and if I'm really cheeky maybe I could get a second bike does that mean I'm converted to being a biker <laughs> I'd rather have two bikes and a a little runabout than uh, a nice sports car even if it was working properly I think now anyway so yeah that was my uh, little update so really my update is no update at all on the car unfortunately we've got blue lights coming so I'll be going back again it seems in the new year when he's back off his holiday although quite possibly I might have changed my car by then <laughs> anyway YouTubes thank you very kindly for watching ride safe and I'll talk to you all again soon